Hey guys, um, this is part six of the electric go-kart build. I forgot to do the intro, so here I am. We're rewiring the batteries today uh, to get some more voltage. So that means we're gonna lose a little amperage because we're using less battery cells, but we're gonna get more voltage. I'm gonna trim the battery trays so they work for this new setup. And uh, we're gonna drive them around a little, so. I did the math, four screws on each post, two posts on each battery. So eight screws per battery, 32 batteries. I'm undoing and redoing 256 screws. Well, actually, I'm not redoing all of them. So probably only about four, 450 or so once I'm all done, you know? I'm gonna uh, clean them off because this is the only time that they can really be nicely cleaned and then modify the battery trays they're they're actually teal it's a lie so that's what they look like after cleaning it's not perfect but it's, it looks a lot better I just pulled this off with a bandsaw. Um, pretty much we need to make the battery trays smaller because we're putting less batteries in. Um, and they also need to be a little shorter that way. You can see that line that's marked there to cut because before it had plates on the end. It was like a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch on both sides. We cut, cut it off, cut this apart, put it back together. Pretty much that's the strategy. All right, so I finished one side. I didn't film any of it because it was other people working here and so I didn't, you know, want to look like an idiot in the film. That weld did not go so good. That one went better. One, one side done, yet to do that side. It's still a mess, um, but it, all my measurements worked out and so, yeah, it should just be replicated again. The battery's different now, the BMS system won't fit on it anymore because there's like connections that are short and then connections that are long. The long connections go between batteries the long ways, the short ones go across batteries. So we'll probably have to rewire all of that. I'm just putting the plates on that just are the actual connection between the batteries in the series. And then I'm gonna do a little research about the BMS systems and um, see what we can do about that. This is what you get when you open up the app and it needs to be only downloaded on 
can audio in here. Only on PC it works, and then you plug the cord that I think comes with the controller into the slot, and then this just pops up on your computer. It starts flashing green. Mm -hmm. Then this just pops up on your computer, and um, there's all these things that you can change. It's really super easy. Right now we're gonna change the voltage. So under voltage now should be, if we're trying to hit 50, let's go like 42 and this one can go 58. All right. Okay. All right, and then you hit set. Um, and then you listen for the fan, and the fan turned on and off, but it's so loud that you can hear it, I think. Yeah, and it makes a little sound on that computer. Mm -hmm. That's how you program. Super easy. This is a great software. And then you just close your computer and unplug it. Bye bye. Bing. We just did a quick test drive just on the sawhorses and it still didn't seem that fast. And we plugged the speed controller back in, and looked at the monitor the tag. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oops. The computer back in, looked at the monitor tag to um, check the RPM and it was only hitting like 4,000 max. Um, and yeah. the low battery air flag was on. So we changed the under voltage to like 37. Um, tried it again and it hit 5,000 RPMs, which is what we want. So, so we, we might turn it the under voltage down a little more because it still had the low battery thing pop up. Uh, so we might try that out and um, see if we can get even more speed. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's going to rip. It's going to rip. <laughs> All right, it's doing the creep. Um, watch the speed sensor there. That's the RPMs. And I'm going to give it throttle. So yeah, it's 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 hitting uh, RPM limiter, um, which we have set at five thousand. This is the first real drive of the new 50 volt go-kart. all the way at top speed and it just dives into it. Yeah. Like, I, it just, you just feel like you're up against a wall the whole time. No. Like, you know? Yep. You never, you never feel scared about turning.
steers to the right. Yeah, me too. Like it won't, it won't drift this way. It will drift this way. Yep. And I'm not quite sure. I think that's design from circle racing. Could be. I think there's something. <laughs> Oopsies! <laughs> This thing is dead, dude. <laughs> Anyways, oopsies, I hit something. Sorry, Dad. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. This is the last video for real this time for a while on this go-kart. We just have to put the new BMS system on, uh, so we'll figure that out. We're going to maybe do something uh, like more centralized and a little bit more condensed than the old system. That just was very confusing. A lot of wires and the charger we did have didn't work. Um, when you plug the BMS system in, so that was, you know, it wasn't actually doing its job. So we'll get that sorted out. Uh, please subscribe if you're not We're trying to get 2,000 subscribers. We're only at like 130, so <laughs> everything counts. We also have an Instagram and a TikTok, all at Clark's Cabin. So give those a follow. We post videos there, stuff you don't see on our YouTube channel. Ben just got a, a racing go kart with uh with a built motor on it uh our plan is to build a shifter cart at some point so we got it for the frame but it had a built engine on it so um little bonus we got to drive that around a little bit um so yeah look out for for a big build like that coming up so let us know what you want to see next